Hello, IGTV, Instagram, and Real Talk friends, Facebook friends. How's everybody doing today? It's Sonia with Real Talk Radio here uh, doing another morning devotional. I felt inspired to do that again today. I hope everybody is having a blessed and good day so far. And I was going to start with um, the Jesus Calling. Again, uh, my probably my all-time favorite devotional. And again, that is by Sarah Young. And today's for Tuesday, November 13, this is what it says. I am Christ in you, the hope of glory. The one who walks beside you, holding you by your hand, is the same one who lives within you. This is a deep, unfathomable mystery. You and I are entwined in an intimacy involving every fiber of your being. The light of my presence shines within you as well as upon you. I am in you and you are in me. Therefore, nothing in heaven or on earth can separate you from me. As you sit quietly in my presence, your awareness of my life within you is heightened. This produces the joy of the Lord, which is your strength. I, the God of hope, fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in me so that you may bubble over with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And the scriptures are Colossians 1 verse 27, Isaiah 42 verse 6, Nehemiah 8 verse 10, and Romans 15 verse 13 in the Amplified, if anyone's interested. But I thought that was really kind of amazing and interesting again because I felt prompted uh, and I put this on my Instagram and I put it on my Real Talk friends this morning too. I felt prompted to um, post this morning for people that are going through a particularly hard time right now. They're hurting. Um, It might be your circumstances, your situation, but something about your life is really a struggle and and you're hurting over it and I'm going to paraphrase a little bit but uh, of what I shared on Instagram and my Real Talk Friends group but basically I said um, there are going to be situations and circumstances in our lives that are beyond our, our ability to resolve and I see these times when our limited humanity can get tangled up in things turning out in a certain way with a certain outcome and we can get very caught up in that and but it's in my experience that there are times in our lives and even seasons where the best thing we can do is let go and let God um, move in our situation and in times like these when I've been able to do that I've discovered a real freedom And a peace come to my heart where I know I've done all I can do and it really is time to let go, uh, trust God, and and put put the rest of it really in his hands. And the reason I think that ties in is, you know, how do we get to that place of rest and peace when the circumstances you know, and our lives are just screaming at us, or, or we're, maybe we're having fear, which is the farthest thing from peace, farthest thing from, you know, rest. And, you know, the Jesus Calling says, as you sit quietly in my presence, your awareness of my life within you is heightened. And I think that's very powerful if we're able to do that, if we're able to really get quiet with the Lord and get in his presence and we have that awareness on a conscious level that he really is with us Um, it produces the joy of the Lord which is our strength and strength will come to us into our inner being our spirit man as they say and then it says I the God of hope will fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in me so that you may bubble over with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I think that's really powerful too. It's like, how do we get there when things are crashing in on us and we are, you know, overwhelmed? Um, And well, as we sit quietly with the Lord, it is by the power of the Spirit that the peace of God will flood our 
our being and our lives. And, and I can say that I have gone through this in my life in a very tangible and real way in times that were scary. So I just want to encourage you guys. And I also wanted, and I hope that blessed you. I hope, I hope you guys could feel that because I really do feel it today. And I felt like people needed to be comforted. I was just feeling it this morning when I woke up that there's a need for comfort and reassurance. Um, and as you guys know, I did, and it, woohoo, I'm so excited. I did publish my first ebook on Amazon. Um, it's called The Savior Series. Uh, really excited, just poetry ebook. If you want to look it up, it's actually pretty easy to find on as Amazon. I just typed in the Savior Series Poetry ebook and it came right up. But I did want to share one poem from it just to give you guys an idea because I think it all ties in when we are needing comfort and reassurance um, how we can really rest in the Lord. And I wrote a poem called Jesus is My Safe Place. And, and here it is, and again, this with many, probably about 17 poems are in my poetry ebook, but here, this one is called Jesus is My Safe Place, and it says, When the world waxes cold, its kindness rare, Jesus is my safe place. When asked to bear affliction and fend off despair, Jesus is my safe place. When wrought on every side, while in silence I abide, Jesus is my safe place. When flood waters rise, the loss I will not despise, for Jesus is my safe place. Jesus is my safe place. So there you go, guys. That just gives you one, maybe a little idea of what the poetry ebook might be like if that sounds like something that would bless you it is on amazon uh, $2.99 so you know look for it there i'm going to be doing more lord willing i already have an idea for the next one it's actually going to be a book book again lord willing because <laughs> i can't do any of this apart from god's help that's for sure but again i want to thank you all for joining me on this amazing journey I'm on, and you know it has its ups and it has its downs, but I'm I'm blessed and and it's all about sharing it with you guys for me, and I and that's what I believe God's put on my heart is to share this. And as I've been saying, my hope is that this is going to bless and encourage and strike a note in others as they are going through their life journey, as I'm sharing mine with all of you. So. Um, yay, it looks like I'm going to be okay on time, you guys. I, I have my limited time on IGTV, but it looks like I made it. And um, I thank you so much for tuning in with me for this Real Talk Radio morning devotional. And um, I'm, it's a little late for morning, but I'm going to try to get it out there as soon as I can. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. And until next time, this is Sonia with Real Talk Radio signing off for now.